Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a, b, and p are integers, where p is prime. If p divides a, b, then p divides a or p divides b. Now, our definition of a prime number is as follows. Suppose p is an integer where p is greater than or equal to 2. We say p is prime if the only positive divisors of p are 1 and p. Now, in proving this theorem, we're going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose a and b are integers that are not both 0. Then the greatest common divisor of a and b is equal to 1 if and only if there exists integers s and t such that as plus bt is equal to 1. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're trying to prove if p divides a b, then p divides a or p divides b. So let's suppose that p divides a b. From here, we want to prove that p divides a or p divides b. Now, we know one of two things is true either p divides a, or p doesn't divide a. And in either case, we're going to show that p divides a or p divides b. In the case where p divides a, we immediately have that p divides a or p divides b. So there's nothing more to prove. So now, let's consider the case where p doesn't divide a. In this case, we're going to show that p divides b. Now, first, we claim that the greatest common divisor of a and p is equal to 1. And to see why, well, we know that the greatest common divisor of a and p is a divisor of a and a divisor of p. And also, the greatest common divisor is positive. So, we know that the greatest common divisor of a and p is a positive divisor of p. And by definition of a prime number, we know that the only positive divisors of p are 1 and p. And therefore, the greatest common divisor of a and p must be equal to either 1 or p. And we want to show that the greatest common divisor of a and p is equal to 1. And we can show that by eliminating the possibility that the greatest common divisor of a and p is equal to p. So how can we show that this is false? Well, we know that the greatest common divisor of a and p is a divisor of a, and p is not a divisor of a. And these two facts tell us that the greatest common divisor of a and p cannot be equal to p. The reason why is because if for a contradiction this is true, well then, p divides a and p doesn't divide a. And that gives us a contradiction. So we must have that this is false. So we've eliminated the possibility that this is true. Therefore, we must have that the greatest common divisor of a and p is equal to 1. And now that we know this is true, we can apply our lemma. Our lemma tells us that there are integers s and t such that as plus pt is equal to 1. And now let's use the fact that we haven't used yet, and it's the fact that p divides ab. This means that there is some integer k such that ab is equal to p times k. And now, let's take this equation and multiply b on both sides. If we do that, we get b equals abs plus pbt. And then we can substitute ab for pk. And from here, we can factor out a p. So we see that b is equal to p times an integer, and therefore p 
divides B. And that is exactly what we wanted to show in the case where P doesn't divide A. So now let's put this all together. In the case where P divides A, we immediately have that this is true. In the case where P doesn't divide A, we figured out that P divides B. And so it follows that this is true. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.